also are doing. We kicked some orange ass, built uh, level 5 mages killed, and that's more or less it. I think. Possibly. Maybe. Probably. Yeah, and the luck works. That's an important part. Yeah, immediately massive difference in combat once you get the lock working. The amount of damage you do just jumps up. What to do with you? Guess we're just waiting for now. At the same time, there's no point waiting with you. I don't want to invest heavily in this one. Lots of bear riders. More or less just want resources. Care about casually. I want the bear surrounded in a way where it can't really move anywhere. Really typical fight against these guys. They don't do a huge amount of damage, but dear god, do they last.
trying to hold on to that. Uh, what are these? Infernals. Infernal city, right? I want to hold on to that city, but I don't really want to upgrade it or invest in it. More or less want to have it as a guardian of that particular edge of the map. So we are not uh, going uh, clockwise around this map with another hero. Probably upgrade this with everything except the dragons. Meaning we can spend the soul for it, pretty much anything else. Have any range attackers? Them to get closer. Our main damage comes from the feed at this point.
miss, 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 miss. Classic. Damn zombies, because at least we are hitting the zombies. Not sure if this fight was really worth it. Experience might. Uh, be actually worth make it worth it. Low level hero is pretty much worthless. It might be worth it just to get the castle done. by pretty much everything. Right, the funds are good enough for that at least. So anything we can do with you? Do some of these shitty fights. Um and I feel like that's a genuine suggestion. They don't offer a lot of experience, but probably enough that uh, a low level character might get a level up. A little bit of a boost uh, to our attempts to defend the place. The force here isn't exactly horrible. I 
I get that? Okay, a little extra timber. Good I'm not sure if I want to upgrade the Haven City we have here. Technically it might not be a horrible idea, but I would really like to focus on dungeon structure as long as there's something reasonable to develop here. Kill level 3. A lot of stone. Actually, have resources to trade for the stone, though. But uh, we can't really do anything unless we get a decent stack of stone from somewhere or extra resource to trade for stone. Currently we don't really have that. Uh, this would be a tough fight. We could get the castle, that'd be great, which means 5 stone. It's the highest priority now. I need extra piece of stone from some place, but that'll, that'll be enough. Lots of mages. I'm not sure I want to fight lots, lots of mages. Want to take this? They'll they have to pay, pay a price for it. Might still lose it, but I, I don't care because hand player has no synergy with the infernal. So yeah, he can take it, but then he just has a city that produces maybe a little bit of extra gold, and that'll be it. Not going to substantially change anything he can do.
increases the number of gated creatures, enemy heroes seated in this town get minus two flood. Uh, maybe a hall of sins. There are spells. Could you cast any third level spells? No. Beans are okay for defensive purposes. We'll mm. just do the loom. It doesn't really cost much money or resources we care about. Minus two luck is pretty bad. It probably isn't gonna cause them to have negative luck, but it'll uh, reduce the amount of positive luck they'll uh, enjoy. I'm not expecting to do this. A bit uh, shocked that he did. Uh, we have to be somewhat careful how we position things. They have the ability to sort of have the attack jump from target to target, at least some of their do so. Space things out as much as possible. Ah, uh, I'm not seeing anything pretty really interesting on their side. They have three range units. I am sucking up their mana though. That is very useful. Yeah, Shinga the spellcaster is good. Her minus one lock. Good attack, good defense, good spell power, good knowledge. So she'll be a pain in my ass. Also spread out, they have an area of effect caster. They might not be super effective, but still. Bad luck, Mr. Turn. Or is that bad morale? I think that's bad morale. Right, can't do much, so we'll try to reduce the amount of range attack power they have. Again, not much, but the uh, best we can do. Normal priests might be a good target, but I think the... Skirmisher is not a realistic one. We can get some kills, and I think the turrets will focus on them. Ooh, that's bad. We lost our ammunition. Although we only had one range unit, so... It Right, the tourists are focusing on the skirmishers. The only thing that I think they did that was really dumb is basically go to that height formation. If the beat beams fire on them, it's gonna hurt a lot. She's our biggest problem. Her and her spell casting abilities. And she's not gonna run out of my mana. But 
So this is a lost cause, I'd say. Uh, should I buy it for the media skill? We wouldn't be able to cast all that much, but the primary stat of War Warlock is the spell power, and I sort of thought I'd had at least some of the spells. No. The thing we can do is buy time for the tourist to fire a few times more. Uh, they lose most of their range attack power, but that'll be it. I'll do one point of damage more this way. Well, we do have the ballista. Number of shots, 47. And he's losing his skirmishers. One turret is down. I also don't really get how the turrets use their targets because they're not even shooting at the range units anymore. see any tactical benefit in doing it that way. I mean, if the gates fall, they have enough um, any type of a troop that I'll lose. So there's no priority to use against the bears. Really. Okay, the skirmishers. Please kill the skirmishers. No, they kill the bears. What the fuck is so interesting about the bears? They, they do nothing here. These two units constantly do damage to us. Ah, this is also fairly tedious now that no one has any ranged attack power, so it goes nowhere. I don't get the fascination of the goddamn bears. Why, why the bears? I suppose there it could be some sort of value evaluation. They're the relatively high tier units compared to the difficulty, uh, I mean, the ease in killing them. Something like that. So it targets them for the actually dangerous units. Like, it's the most valuable unit he can get a kill on. I 
maybe. Oh, uh, he's out of ammunition, I think. Also, man up. Shots left zero. Might as well kill the bears now. Oh shit. Buy a little bit of time, but uh, only a little. Our best opportunity would be if they would block the passage with their bears. They did not. The only thing we can really do is buy uh, maybe a turn or two of extra time. Bears and brawlers. That's their primary primary target. One room priest. Bears managed to kill four of themselves for through some goddamn miracle. This is likely our last attack, so we'll have to try to kill something useful. Another bear. Final shots. More bears. More bears. Right, our hero gets to attack once more. This will be the final one. Nice little fight. Uh, both groups solely devastated by it. What is this? Maze. New items. Have any useful spells? He has the basics. So nothing particularly good, but he's not in a terrible situation either. The way to get extra bonuses to battle, extra experience. But we'll need quite a bit to make a difference, though.
really need money, so I'll take experience. Basic magic at expert key. Right. Uh, maybe we should start uh, reinforcing this one. Flying on a single city is a bit of a problem. Even though we won't want to rely on this, we would still want to have the enemy pay a, a larger cost taking it. Uh, I think I'll use the secondary hero to try to go to the eastern side and retake the Inferno City. Really don't have anything better to do with it anyway. Forts. I I don't know. I mean, it's like it's not like it's a total waste of my resources and time, but I I don't know if I really give a shit. That's a big problem. It's not important enough. It's nothing to do with our what we need to do in this mission. Really, we just need to explore, and to do that, we need a army of sufficient strength. That's what we need. Everything else is just luck. with the Lord in our attack. Right. Usually I wouldn't care that much, but the difference is starting to be really, really big, so maybe take the fence.
Mostly we would just need stone though to upgrade this. But the troops here now are... Really the correct type. I'm not sure how the hell does this work. It looks like it's not producing these red troops, but uh, how the hell did they get there if it's not producing them? Brown hero or tan hero, whatever. Green player has been defeated. Okay. Right, they are producing units of different types that don't mix together at all. That's just weird. Okay, who the hell is the hero here then? Demon Lord? Uh, I'm not sure I want to upgrade it. No thanks. It's uh, it's getting weird there. anything particularly interesting. Basically, you need to be a, any threat. They're too slow for starters. Poison should take care of most of them now. If he goes for the item, I can kill him. If he backs down, I'll get the item. Or I can kill him and get the item. Because he... I have no idea what the hell he's thinking. The hero he had was... Very good. I want to prevent him from having a, being able to do anything before he is dead. So systematically take down correct targets. Not sure why he can't. The hero is gone. I 
Ooh, I thought I was uh, joining the fight, not fighting against these. That's uh, unfortunate. Very unfortunate, in fact. This is much harder to than to available. Increasing item. Increases initiative of war machine. Another Chan hero. Uh, we'll go where they're coming from and try to kill, kill their main uh, city. Right, I, I don't think you were ever really meant to do this. Looking at the battlefield, it seems like there's a lot of factions that all hate each other, and there's uh, sort of Groups fighting groups in the same turn with a lot of items on the ground. So you're supposed to pass through these areas maybe, but you're never really required to actually go after the enemy. Increasing sights. Another Chan player hero. Killing the heroes is more important than anything else. I'm not sure if I can win this. Hero, so very likely I can. Still, my range attack capabilities are fairly limited. Right, I think this is uh, the expansion change. If you go right next to the doors, they'll open up from the inside. I don't think it happened in the original game. So he basically led me into the city without a fight. That might be a cause for a lot of problems, really. Uh, some changes in the rules, but no changes in the fundamental AI governing things.
trying to get the lizard men to go through the gate in a fairly good shape That's why I'm shooting at certain specific groups I need them to die when they attack the lizard Some casualties, but nothing really major. We were in the process of trying to build major skills here though. The main hero should gain quite a bit out of this. Still, we don't have any plans of staying here. Gotta make some moves. Who wants to come back and retake it? That's fine. I'll go there after I've reached level 20 though. It should be a fight or two. It's a good army. The hero any good. Yeah. It's probably the best one uh he still has. I'm not sure if we should wait. If we are just talking about the armies, we should definitely wait. Problem is her, we're in a fairly tight mode formation now, uh, she's a good spellcaster. But we stay here, we're just throwing away troops, I feel. Better to have them fight toe to toe.
could resurrect things. It'll be a very limited type of resurrection. These guys may be worthless in attacking, but they are not worthless in defending. To pile up everything on top of them in the hopes of killing them quickly, or the spellcaster has time to do so much damage. Dragon can handle those. They're sort of leaning toward everyone ignoring those and just attacking their larger group. Take a long time to kill them in the basic circumstances. No, focusing on anything else is pretty much a reckless thing to do. Run away. Not exactly the type of victory I was expecting. I'll take it. Uh, we have a decent dungeon army along the south, so I'll go and take that. Switch the troops up. So we shouldn't have trouble on that front. Master Wrath, Might and Haste. Mass Righteous Might, Mass Haste. Oh, another hero. It's not a threat to us. Uh, that should be level 20. Yes. How do you get further south? Quick uh, spell power. We'll have to go to this city anyway because of the town portal. At the same time, we will get it everywhere, but 
we will also get other spells, so... Destruction and darkness spells, so... Right, the enlightening... There's a good chance we'll get the implosion too. Maybe not, but there's a chance. Pretty much the only big upgrade we can still give the hero. Armageddon, so nothing particularly new. Still, the chain lightning is useful. There's a couple other useful things. Tom Portal is the best thing ever, and so on. So, it's worth the visit. You burn a little bit of time, but you get something for the rest of the campaign. Like he might be trying to get to this place. <laughs> I think the enemy can reach here on the next turn, but I don't really want to chance that. Okay, let's see what happens. He'll definitely win if he attacks, that's not in question. First things first. This needs to be upgraded now. Why all the things? The units don't stack very well, do they? Mainly because we have a lot of extra cash to spare, but uh, we need to spend it on. Right, all the good stuff as far as enemy units are concerned are coming from that corner. So I think I'll sort of beeline there with the main hero. Leave us uh, weaker uh, armies and secondary heroes to defend the other places.
Uh, that's a trivial hero, I don't want to even bother going after him. not coming after me. He knows he's going to just lose. Resources don't particularly concern me. There's not enough things to upgrade to for that to matter. While this force isn't maybe the best possible in the world, it's okay against the half-assed enemy group coming our way. Demon Lord probably fits the best here. Doing Pete Lords mainly because they'll have more spells they can cast if I upgrade them. This fight before it really starts. I'll take the 50% protection from gold based attacks. The enemies I've bought recently have cast a lot of a cold ring spell. It's probably been explored already. Try to get the lizard rider out of the way. Right? Uh, at least we have enough initiative for that. However, the Minotaurs can't dodge him, so I think we should go on the offensive. Right, better than expected. Oh, 
haven't seen that type of an artifact before. Increase spell power by two. We are not engaging in resource wars with these guys. Uh, rock is pretty much the only thing we might miss a little bit if we don't get more. But that's about it. So what we need to do is try to get the main hero to move things forward. they lose this city they'll be in trouble. Right they're right at the cusp of getting magma dragons. Again we don't particularly care about what's happening around this place. I think there was a couple of attribute sites here. So we want those but more or less we just buy Hiro Hero and have it sit there doing nothing useful. Hundred eighty. Holy shit. That's it, I'm not particularly impressed with what I see. Not to diminish the threat this enemy army poses, but still seeing anything in that that's all that's super dangerous they have a single stack of uh, troublesome stuff and I'm gonna frenzy their ass so enjoy your allied unit there Why did you do that? I will just get into the city without having to fight all that much. Could we get a boost? Those dwarves is gonna be tough. They're gonna 
take less damage from range attacks to begin with. What's the best way to tackle them? I mean, I've fired upon them a little bit, but it's gonna take forever to turn them that way. Right, what we need to really do is get inside the port, everyone. If it's going to go down, it's going to go down through melee attacks. I need someone to slow his ass down too. Yeah, that'll have a little bit of much though. Yeah, 400 of them are somewhat dangerous. Not super dangerous, but still. Can't stay here. Right, they should be much better. You know, cars are great at this sort of thing. Right, they're below half their normal strength, so we should be able to handle them fairly quickly now. Yeah, they're down. Big win for us, I should say. Right, minor casualties, massive army wiped out. Probably fully upgraded city, more or less. Not quite. Surprised I got something new out of it. Ooh, I thought this was a uh, defense side plus one. It is not. Okay, I'm going to need some sort of a new hero to paint this. Eba the Rune Mage. Alright. So there's really places we can go. The right hand side where there's just likely a city. Maybe upper right hand side another city. So three on both sides. And then the center up position. I think that's where we need to go.
be here. Point is, I think I'll head toward there. Upgrade these cities as much as we can. An effort to try to offer some sort of our defense against potential enemies. Uh, here the problem is that they, these units don't really stack anymore. So we might as well not upgrade things anymore. Okay, probably we can end, uh, reach the place where we need to reach within a week. We might miss some attribute boosting locations, but that hardly matters. We got the important stuff. Implosion is the only real big thing that I didn't get. Maybe some of the mind control abilities. Try to aim from the center. That with the attack. I'm okay with this. I need to spread things out a bit so they can't take out the ammo card and any other unit at the same time. Alista is much more. No matter where we go, they're, they're going to be able to do something. I'm not particularly impressed with what I see. They probably have a good hero though. No, not even that. Just outright not impressed. I'll move a little bit forward because of the spell casting for you. Out, spread out. Who do we want to kill? The moralists want to get rid of their range attackers. Right. They don't have that many. Fairly good for us. The range attackers are now gone. So it's just a bombardment of against bears, I guess. I want the turrets to switch to another target so that's possible. Okay. 
I still cast a little bit. I'm more against the Blood Furies because they can potentially at least attack without making their retaliation attempts. That would be a disaster. With the others, we can at least whittle down their strength. Blood Furies, that's not that bad. Be running out of spell casting power. Might be able to throw a single spell at us still. die after this. Curse will finish off the bears, but what do they shoot after that? No, they want after Hydras, because... I don't know. Ooh, our walls have been breached. Excellent. We can uh, kill them into the bottom now. There we go. He's blocking the access from the smaller troops. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what he's really planning here. Those attacks are dead as long as I just put any kind of unit to block them. I'll also kill more of them if I don't interfere and just let them see the lava in. If I attack them, they'll just get through faster. Why they're going after the Hydras? The Hydras can't really do anything at the moment. Our range unit might be useful. It's a little bit. Well, the hydras will die on the next turn, so at least that's something. 
Although I don't really still understand what the urgency with them was. So he ran away. Uh, expert devil didn't even re think about the gating up opportunity. Uh, basic war machines. Expert gating. Advanced war machines. Right, they really have no opportunity or chance to get that anymore. The only other site I'd like to preserve is this. Let's see how they could take this. They just don't have what it takes. This they might be able to take, but uh, it would still cost them dearly, so I'm not particularly worried. Right, he's more or less confined to that corner now. I don't think I have to go there. Oh, this is bad. Control attacks them. Yeah. What I can do about it. Slight positioning change on the blood theories would have uh, yeah, avoided them. Would have prevented them from attacking us at all. But that's something of a lock thing usually. I, I could have thought about the position a little bit more closely. Not like it was an impossible challenge, or totally based on luck. Master of Ice. I already have Mass Haste, so... Why take it at a lesser level? But that's our goal. I'm somebody interested in getting the experience from these fights. I'm picking them. Might not amount to much, but it might amount to a very, amount to a very important level up. Well, shit, now everyone has to move.
Why do they insist on fighting? I'm going to be able to wrap things up. What is that? Ooh, the flame. Don't particularly care. After the Inferno City again. Not sure why. Because he has to try something. The hero is getting better, the army is certainly going to get any weaker, and so on and so on. So his chances of taking it they are pretty slim. My initiative has been boosted massively thanks to the items. I'm wondering do we have some specialty by the way for us? Dragons. Uh, better see if we can reinforce the inferno. I think we're getting close to the end now. Again, it's probably our last fight. We'll take casualties. They have fire shield. Right. Casualties before we cause a single kill. Still. What other options do we really have? Even if I put confusion on them, which I probably should do, they're still gonna be a pain to ask. This is where the implosion would have been useful. We don't have to be so offensive here. We have plenty of ranged attackers and spellcasters that we can't reach us quickly anymore. So I think we're more or less okay now.
dragon armor pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, please. This fight should be trivial after everything. Save was certain if this is the end of the map, but this is the only place I can realistically see where we have to go. Also, there doesn't appear to be any enemy presence here. Okay, again, indicate that you're supposed to sort of uh, run through the warring factions with your hero and uh, just survive a couple of fights here, and then you're done. Ears hot. Collect 8 dragon artifacts. It will be easier to persuade the dragons if Alia, Ilya collects the 8 legendary dragon artifacts or is the raiment of Tudana. The task is not an easy one. And Ilya may lack the time or energy to fulfill it. What exactly are the artifacts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is the this last remaining artifact? Uh, do I see it already? We no, it's not the rune of flame. All of them were pretty much here, available for the picking if you just fight a lot. Well, technically, I guess the Rune of Flame could count, but uh, I don't think so. That said, I think I'll end things here because I do want to complete that objective, but I don't see where I should be going in order to complete it. Which means, likely one of the enemies has actually picked up one of the items. So it won't end unless I can get it back. And that's not a... That's not necessarily as easy of a task as you might think. Because if the hero dies in a way where the... It doesn't basically lose to our hero. Or if the faction ends in a way that it doesn't lose to our hero first. There's no way for us to get the item anymore. Yeah, I, I don't see anything really just floating about like I see it so with the other items, so... <sighs> it has to be here with one of the pan heroes. I don't see any other option. And that could be a little bit of a annoying game of its own to try to get it. Oh shit. Although it's very close now. I'll give it a quick try. Might get lucky. I can certainly kill all their heroes out here now. So they're more or less... Fuck. Something went there. I would imagine that this guy is not the one I'm looking for.
it's a hero that's already lost to me, then I can just buy it. It's probably not, but uh, wouldn't it be fantastic if it was? You probably can take a look at these rows beforehand. Right. They ain't got shit. He's the only guy who's uh, free to roam around, so I'm sort of uh, eager to go after him. I don't think he's our guy, though. That's much more likely. Fight. Hero slaying. Anything all the team just in Mars fair perspective anymore. So we're more or less pretty much done with him. Yeah. So we just have to get lucky with the armies. Left. Yeah, this is the main problem. He's just gonna run away. So. Actually getting the final item out of him, even if he had it, would still be a gigantic pain to ass. The problem is now that even if we can sort of corner him, he's not going. We, there's no guarantee we will get the hero in the castle that has the item. So we'll have to give him space and he'll have to come out with his heroes. I'll take the city down, kill the hero who's there. If we don't get the item, I'll, I'll end. At least he has a hero here, so there's a chance. I don't recall the name of the hero, it's uh, level 8, unlikely to be for him. Familiar looking guy, I've definitely fought against him before. 
So maybe it's uh, maybe it is him. I can't say for certain he wouldn't be the guy though. That's I guess the main point. didn't end at this point either, so um, I don't see any heroes, not that I see any cities, why didn't things end? Ah, balls, 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 either way I'll end things here. We'll hunt for the last remaining piece, but there's no telling where it is. Is it even here anymore? <laughs> 